All right, welcome back to Masterfully Integrated. I'm Amelie Schaefer and I'm here with Janine Suvak and hey we are Systematic Excellence Consulting and we help people run their businesses more efficiently. We help them build strong, efficient teams. Um, and we are just, we just wrapped up the Business Hierarchy of Needs series that we did on our podcast um, from the book Fix This Next by Mike Michalowicz. Um, and so we just want to do a little wrap up on, on um, the topics that we covered and, and what it looks like going forward. So, yeah, first of all, it's like we ended with the interview with Mike Michalowicz and it is pretty epic. You really need to see it. And we'll put the link in here um, and kind of a takeaway that and then moving, looking forward into what we're going to be doing next. It's like we talked with him a lot about, you know, the dramatic changes in the business environment with the pandemic and how that, how Fix This Next and the business hierarchy of needs plays into that. And the big shifts that even huge legacy companies had to go through that kicked some of them back down to starter with sales with the shutdown. Um, so that was really interesting. He talks about his new book coming out, which is pretty exciting. And then along those lines, like this kind of thing, it's like, this is business, right? It's always, the environment's always changing. There are always, things to adapt to, new things you want to try and do, um, how you want to, you know, things change in your life as you move along. And those are the kind of things that we particularly help with with business in, in having that strong infrastructure is to support your goal and your vision for your business, to develop it as an asset for yourself, for your family, for your community, whatever your dream is for it. Um, and so uh, in while it's just to kind of wrap up what we were doing, we went through this 25 week series starting from the bottom of the business hierarchy needs moving to the top in this environment of massive adaptation that everyone was going through. And what's interesting, I mean, even for us, it's like what happened when we went into it like everyone else. And as we're coming out of it, it's like we've grown to where we're divided. We have two distinct operations and marketing uh, departments going on now, which is super exciting. And we'll talk about that more in the future. Um, but we had to restructure our own team to support that, right? You know, and we, um, we built, uh, developed a case study that had a really successful launch. And we're going to document that um, in the context of the business hier hierarchy of needs from concept to launch to growth and show how that works and what we've done to do it. And we're actually, we've got a pretty rapid growth, right? From launch to handoff to our team, to an asset where we are shareholders in it and not in the business is uh, moving along really quickly and it's pretty fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been really exciting to be able to do that and using the hierarchy of needs as um, to keep looking at where we're at and what we need to do next and and you know we're, we're still in the in the in the sales level but we're using it each step of the way to determine okay what do we need to focus on next where's our energy and time need to be and then as we move our way up through the you know the hierarchy of needs as we've gone through you know the different topics and you know some of it we get set back and go back to and then we go back to the topic we were before and then we keep moving forward but we're using it as a framework to help us move forward in, in um, building this additional asset for under systematic excellence. Um, and it's focused on, on e-com. And I think that um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's really good. And, and, and it's just, it's just reevaluating every time. Okay. Where are we at? What do we need to focus on? What do we need to get done for it? Um, and keeping that fix this next, um, process in mind as we're doing it has been really helpful. Yeah, I think the name might confuse some people because fixing implies broken. Right. But, um, but you know, but it's more, I think, a better way to look at it is, you know, business is dynamic. So it's yeah. just, you know, not necessarily that something is broken, but where is that point that's going to move the needle the most that you need to focus on? Yeah. And always, you know, how can you make things better? Yeah. Otherwise it just gets boring. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and if, you know, if you're watching this, um, leave us a comment or questions, um, in the comments. And, you know, if you watch the replay, give us hashtag replay, 
But also if you're in your business and you're not sure what the next step is or where you need to go next or what you need to focus on, this is what we do. So you can book a call with us. Um, we'll put, I'll put the link um, to do that in the comments. Um, but know that that's what we can, that's what that outside perspective helps us do is, you know, look at where we're, where we're at right now, where are we trying to go? And then figuring out what is that exact next step to focus on. And that's something that Janine and I do for our clients. So if that's a situation that you find yourself in, please book a call. Let's find out if we're a good fit and then we can, you know, move forward from there. So, and we've been able to help clients some work with us ongoing, you know, for three or six months to help them implement those change, changes or, you know, continue working together. Some people just get on the call to do the one time. We give them the information, give them the plan to move forward, and then they go off on their own and do it. So it's, it's really up to, you know, the person, but that's how we can best support people to start is to get into their business and help them figure out what the next step is and where they need to focus their time and energy and money. <laughs> yeah. That's so. key. Keep all those resources where you get the most out of them, right? With yeah, time, exactly. Energy, money, everything. Yep. Yeah. And maybe next time we can talk a little bit more about like the case study and talk about what we've, we've come to find with the, with the um, program that we launched and, and how the business is being built and, and all of that. So we just wanted to wrap up the series um, as we, you know, start to roll into um, a new content plan. Um, again, if you have any questions, if you haven't gotten the book, we highly recommend it. Um, and again, I'll put the link to book a call. So if you're in a place where you need that outside perspective and want and want to work with us, whether it's just for the one call, um, the one consulting call, or if it's an ongoing thing, please, you know, reach out um, and we can work with you for sure. And meanwhile, happy Friday. Have a good yeah, day. happy Friday. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.